Wong Chin against Chang and Hua away. Malaysia versus China. They got the the team colours are Harimau. There you go. Wong and Chin uh, up then, and they are 24. Chin is 24 uh, facing the camera. Wong is 25. World rank eight. They were Dutch Open runners up in 2005. Indonesian Open 2005 also. Under their coach Chia Sun Kiat. Uh, the Chinese pair, uh, Chang Yawen and Wei Yi Li, 22 and 24 respectively. Chang is 22 and uh, current rank 9. So just one more in the world rankings. And the best they achieved was uh, in the All England. They got to the semi-finals. There's our umpire for this ninth match in our commentary today. Ian Spear of England. And... Uh, in 2006, they in fact, uh, the pair of Chang and Wei won the Indonesian Open, the Thailand Open. They got to the quarterfinals. They were runners up in China, Masters, and as we said before, the semi finalists in uh, the All England. I've got with me once again the charming Charmaine. Glad to be here. John? Yeah, this should be an exciting game. You're, you're right. World ranked number eight, world ranked number nine. Should be very interesting. China has, they both have great defense, but I think uh, the Malaysian team, they have fast, drive, fast drives and strong defense, and they'll have to take the attack right away. So, I don't know what the umpire called there. Well, he's called a foul on the serve. Look at that. He's, <laughs> he's saying <laughs> it's a little bit high. The, again, the first serve. That's amazing. First serve of the match. We saw that a little bit earlier in the men's doubles, too. The first serve was called. Oh, just to help you distinguish. Oh, what was that? Another service fault. But on the other side this time. Do you know what she's saying? This is very interesting. She is saying, Wong Pei Ti is saying, look, I've got my shirt outside my shorts. Or, yes, it is shorts she's wearing. You can't see my waist. There's one answer to that, isn't there? Service over. Two, Tuck it in, one. as we used to say. <laughs> I think they, well, it's strange. We've had some very funny calls, but um, Mr. Breslin of Ireland was absolutely certain it was a foul. So, just to get some identity here on screen, the left-handed, the left-handed player Three. is uh, Hui Yi Li. Left-handed player for China. There she is on the left of screen. 222, that's uh, smash. And facing us, Chin. How are we going to distinguish for you viewers? Chin is with the shuttle right now. Slightly rounder-faced, I would say. Slightly smaller. Wong Peti. We've seen her on camera and coverage already this during this week Two, four. so to all of you watching around the world it's Malaysia versus China old foes as far as badminton's concerned let's get to the match it's 4-2 in favor of Wong and Chin Oh, great rally. Tight net by KT Wong. She did well. Wonderful take there. Left handed, I mean, left handed, backhanded. Another service fault. Oh. It's three already in the game. Well, that's extraordinary. And it's tough with the rally point, too. It's, you don't want any service faults or. Easy points. Well, the bottom line is you just got to. Uh, well, we've got a shuttle there. Look at just top left corner uh, from another court. You just got to be absolutely certain. Don't risk it. Double faulting is not uh, in the game here, but it, it upsets the concentration. Of course, if if your partner keeps double, keeps uh, faulting like that. So here we go with five, four, four, five. Way in serve. Five all. Oh. 
Well, she had the right spot. She was trying to play the net, but a little bit too tight. Six, five. Ginny Wee just couldn't move away from that net play. So instead of leading, which they were, 5-2, they're now 6-5 down. Do we have another service fault? <laughs> Don't tell me. No. Mr. Breslin, what are we thinking of? Dear, oh dear. <laughs> I can see right in front of me, Tian Bin, Tian Bin, Tian Bin, uh, Bin Yi, is saying, what was going on? He is the coach of the Chinese pair. Number seven, six. That was it, right in. Good shot. Oh, well left. It was. Do you know, I was struggling just now to see how I could recognize Chinny Wee, but she's, of course, she's left-handed as well. Yes, we have two lefties out there. <laughs> oh, man, am I stupid. Eight, seven. It's been a long day. Nice rally. Continues. Oh, yes. Oh, lucky, lucky. Chinese pair could not have responded. 189K. The Malaysian team defended so well and then just a little bit lift, lifting it out the back. way over the shoulder so on the left shoulder for the right hand there very difficult to control especially when it comes at speed so Malaysia lead now 9-8 went for the big one missed it <laughs> Good that stuff. Nice rally. Yeah. Neither team wants to give away the lift, so a lot of driving. I must say they look very composed and compact this this setup. Chang and Wei in service now, Chang. They move well together, don't they? And good decision that one as they go to 11. It's 11-9, China in the lead. And uh, as we see them walk over, listening to their coach, Tian Bin Yi, they are the quintessential Chinese duo. Everything disciplined, nothing flash, absolute supreme fitness and great understanding of the game. And we watch your last point here in the half. Tried to smash it, but the drift just caught and it went a bit long. They had the right idea. I think they're just making that little bit of mistakes at the end of it, the rallies. We just caught a glimpse of Chia Sun Kiat, former Malaysian player, who is uh, coaching these doubles. There we go. Well, 5-3 to Chang and Wei. And the smashes. Pretty even, unforced. Five. Wong and Chin. But um, at this level at 11 9, you'd expect it to be pretty Seven. tight. Ten, Neither team dominating as we see at 10 11. So it's actually a very competitive match. Way took it easy. Seven, oh. And missed it. I think she's a little bit worried about her serve, giving it up. I'm talking Pei T now. Pei T, yes. Yeah, yeah. After a few uh, faults, and you start thinking about it, and then the concentration goes a little bit. Yeah. Wow. 
while. If Malaysia, <laughs> uh, I'm sure to say, if Malaysia win that, that'll be amazing. Great gets by P.T. Wong. Yeah. There's a few that oh, she was just reaching for, and then unfortunately, again, with, there's a little bit of a drift, I said earlier, coming towards us. So you have to be very careful. Lifting a little bit higher would keep the bird in. Cool. Not another fault. It was. Oh my goodness. What's going on? I mean, this is just extraordinary. Is, is that four or five? Oh, at least five, I'd say. Five but in a row. And I every mean, service judge is a little bit different, so I this guy might be a little bit stricter. Wow. But it's going both ways. I mean, maybe sometimes you should just let it go. It's, it, it is interesting because they have been upset on the service calls, but um, generally in open play, the Chinese have shown some very, very cool, calm, and calculating style. <laughs> oh, great. She read that first shot really well. Yeah. Chin. She went up, smashed it, got a weak return, and was, was there for the net kill. Let's take a look. He's right there. Back live. KT oh. lifts her head. You can't believe she missed that one. Big point because it gives it a lead to the Chinese duo of 15 13. And we change the serve. KT, she's played a lot of badminton this week. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's a bit late. She's not actually, she's so much smaller than everybody else. And look at way towering above the net. plays it too long. She does she took a lot of the pressure there at the base of the court. Ginny Wee. But uh, ultimately just put it too long. There it goes. Outside. So 16-13. And that's long as well. Again, they're not yep. controlling the depth. No. Again, they should know by now. They've played in here a few times. There is a little bit of a draft, and it's coming towards us. They have to adapt. You know, you, they play long, long enough in these big stadiums. You have to adapt. Towards us is exactly as you see it. And we're down at courtside behind the Chinese pair in black. Fourteen seventeen. Big moment. Can't afford to lose any more points here. Oh dear. 18-14. Not that I'm on Malaysia's side, you understand, but it's uh, we're on the side of the uh, of the underdog. We want to see competitive matches here. 18-14. Zhang and Wei. Chang just 22 years old, so a youngster in relative terms. Such a huge school of talent and pool of talent in China. 19, this is just a few of them. Big disappointment there for Chin, we see in shot. It's now 19-14 and Chang Yawen has the serve to bring up game point. Which she does. Oh, there you go. 20, main point, 14. There's a bit more intensity of the, in the Chinese side. They've just they've just pumped up a little bit more. They've got, uh, they just look the part. They look like they're atta attacking a little bit more, a little bit confident. And that is it. That is game, the first game of this important women's doubles then. And it went to China, 21-14. First game won by Zhang Ziwen. It is interesting, and I'm not uh, trying to be disparaging at all, but uh, Chang and Wei just look the part. A little bit of mopping up, but there you go. Smash winners, and Chang and Wei have got that. 9-4. The net winners belong to Chin and Wong. 
And at 2 1, the clear winners are Chang and Wei. And the unforced errors, and then that's the story. Wong and Chin have committed too many errors and lost it 21 14 as a result. Consecutive points, fairly even. So, I don't know whether you agree with me, but, you know, it, looking the part is everything. You know, it's, it's my way of thinking, it is it's part of the whole game. It's in every sport, it's the same. You've got to feel and look the part. I've never felt the Malaysians have really taken care of that element of it. I mean, they've got wonderful talent, and that's brilliant. They do. I, I think uh, those unforced errors, it really gets to you. You have to shake it off, get back into it, and play their game. Great rally to start the second game. Super defense by Petit. Continues with Chin. And it's good. Oh, yes. Well, that's good defense. As you said, it always starts. Everything starts with defense. You can hear the crowd, and particularly the Malaysians. Luggy, luggy. That's just more of the same. Two love they lead in the second game. Out of court, three love. Ball left. Now the Chinese team are having a little bit of difficulties judging the, the court. Isn't that interesting? Just as you said, the drift is from their backs. He <laughs> we caught in two minds. I think in she wanted end. to be out but wasn't sure. Didn't want to let it drop. Lovely. Oh, that's a beautiful cross court by Chin. Very nice cross court. She's, that was her left hand. They probably almost, maybe forget, you forget once in a while, right up to her forehand, cross court smash. It was a poor shot, actually, to be fair, by the Chinese. They didn't make it high enough or short enough. It was halfway. So this is interesting. 5-1, second game. Malaysia's fighting hard. I was watching the Malaysian team uh, practice the other day, and Pei Ti Wong wasn't just herself. She has a little bit of a back problem, so she was taking it a little bit easy watching her, her uh, partner play. Okay. The inside track with Charmaine Reed. Well, that was oh, another Number service five, fault. Six, oh, really? I believe it. At least it's going both ways, so it evens up. It's not changing the outcome of the game. Zhang Yawen, head down. It means it's 6-2 now to the Malaysians. It's Wong Peti with the serve. Oh, she's now extravagant with her uh, racket head way below the wrist and the hand. Oh. Now that's a big mistake. Three. Six. We'd expect her to get that easily, even if it's returned, at least keep it in play. <laughs> There's a lot of worrying about the serve, and you can tell this jitters there. It's not tight enough. That's a perfect example, but Chin will gratefully accept it as she's with the service right now at 7-3, 8-3. 8-3. It's not firing, really, this match, is it, at the minute? It's all, there's a lot of errors. Or, yeah, especially right now, I think they're so concerned about having a legal serve or just scared the umpire is going to, service judge is going to call a fault. It's certainly not flowing. And we've, ser we've seen better quality of play. This is better. Nice reflexes. Oh, she was beautiful. credit for that one. Her racket was up. Ten, 
looking for the cross court in anticipation. Watch this. Uh, yeah, she did All beautiful. over it. Beautiful. She saw it coming. Well, that means it's 10-4 and PT with the serve. And 11-4, they come to the halfway stage of the second game, and they lead going well. They come to our end as that shuttle goes into the net. Disappointment for China, celebration for mm -hmm. resignation by China. Celebration, I would say, for the Malaysians. They're now beginning to move very, very well indeed. They were out of it in the first game, well out of it. Look at that score. Yeah, they're doing the same to the Chinese. Looks I like they're at sorry. attacking a bit better now and cutting down on the unforced errors. Right there, sets them in a better spot. And taking advantage of facing the breeze. Is it harder in singles? Or? Oh, look at this. The smash winners at 9-7 in favor of Chang and Wei. Which is interesting. Chiang and Wei also have the clear winners. And four stairs at nine apiece. How does that uh, stack up with 4 11? 5 11. I think Malaysia had more of the smash winners in the second game. Five, okay. to, to get going in this, in this game. There's a lot of ground to make up in the second game then for China. They are 5 11 down. Nice spot down the middle. Righty, lefty. They were both looking at each other. Who's going to take it? Yeah, you don't want the right. Yeah, that's right. The right and left. They both had the forehand there, didn't they? Well, it's 7 12, and uh, Chang Yawen with the serve. Nice touch. Yeah, the pressure was on. That was the, the winning shot was actually developed by uh, Wei Li at the net, finished off by Chang. But let's have a look at it. Easy. And Jin Yat Wei, silver medalist last year at the World Championships. She's all over the net and her defense is so strong. Hard to get anything through her or by her. 12-8 in favor of Malaysia. Feather, is it needing to be changed? 16 feathers. 16 feathers. I've been through this a few times, but 16 feathers, 4.74 grams. That shuttlecock. Well, anything between 4.74 and 5.5. You will tell us about the tension thing again tonight, won't you? <laughs> High tension, low tension, tell us a little bit. Of the rackets, most players probably range from about 25 pounds to 32 pounds in their string tension. The tighter it is, you lose a little bit of control, but maybe you gain a little bit of power. The looser it is, or the the looser it is, you yeah. gain maybe a little bit more control. Okay. Lots of toing and froing, and I think it's 10-13. What would you actually prefer when you're out? I guess it depends on um, the conditions you're playing in. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm about a middle middle end, about 28 pounds. I'll string my rackets a little bit tighter when I play doubles, and then I loosen it up a little bit when I play singles. Do you change the rackets for the breeze, either end? It depends on how big the drift is. Here, there's only a little bit of a drift, but if there's a bigger one, absolutely. Sometimes you have a few different tensions in your in your bag. How many rackets do you carry? We're probably close to 12 rackets. 12 rackets. Can I, can I, can I have one? <laughs> 
<laughs> Why do you carry 12? Well, I usually restring my rackets when I'm back at home and, and not have to worry once I'm here. Um, so in case you break the strings or once in a while you, you'll break a racket. In fact, I did. I was playing with the singles player the other day and I'll blame it on her. She broke my racket. Um. We went for the same shot. <laughs> Just hold up for a couple of seconds. Let's have a look at this score again. It's 14-12 second game. The Chinese pair in the black, they won the first game. They're now trailing in the second, but they're, they're working hard. And uh, we've got a 15-12 to Malaysia at the moment. So we could be heading for the dreaded rubber game. Who knows? We're in the eighth, no, ninth match, aren't we? Ninth match of our coverage. And that really is a marathon, I must say. It's uh, a lot of effort by all the production crew here in Madrid. But we're delighted to bring it to you. It's good stuff to watch. 15, 13, 13, in fact it is 13, 15. Great rally, but unfortunately, Pei Ti Wong put it into the net. There's a lot of grabbing of fists and knuckles here you know, it's become fashionable isn't it even if you know it doesn't matter what racket game it is it's that oh, clench fist stuff i suppose the uh, well you get very excited in, in a match and every point you're you, you know pumps you up and you and you want to win so badly i think it just kind of keeps you going sure and you're, no i'm not you're arguing excited about about know it. why i'm just <laughs> wondering you know as far as 20 years ago it didn't happen that way it was a sort of you know polite acknowledgement Things have moved on. Poor old man. Okay, it's uh, second game still. We're talking 14-16 now to China, and they are edging back. And just before you finish with the racket thing, those stringers out here are just so much fun, aren't they? They are just, oh, they are a hoot. They are working non-stop. 12 hours a day, something like that, and they... Unbelievable oh. how many rackets they restring at a tournament. And Takes them probably less than 20 minutes to do one racket. Yeah, having some fun out there. Abusing the world. But, uh, my goodness, they are talented people. So, Malaysia finding it hard to convert this second game at 15-17. 15-17 China. Change of shuttle. Wei Li comes across and frightens another goose. Go on, you've got to tell the viewers again. It's, it's only the left wing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Usually it takes about six geese to make one shuttlecock. Oh, they just pluck them from the left on. wing. It's uh, so they spin properly and, and the best are from the, the left side of the goose. It's the left side of the goose. <laughs> 16, 17. 16, 17. It's getting tight again. Malaysia had it all in their own pockets. They're now giving up the change. Here we go. Chance to level it. Oh, and suddenly that left-handed round the corner. It was just coming right on the shoulder. I don't know if we're going to get a replay here, but just look at the shoulder of uh, Chin Iwi. Here we get it. Now, look, what's this? at the top of the corner oh, and right. she had to really really stretch for that it was too much 17 all <laughs> big chance big chance pressure pressure oh it's out is it no, no it's good. good oh goodness 18 17 they are determined to keep us here for another half an hour 213 kilometers per hour she did well there. Messed up the uh, the play at the net on the previous point, but now she has the service, and it's a chance to finish off this second game. She just needs three more points. And now two more points. Lots of excitement right in front of us. The coach of the Malaysian squad. Chia Sun Kia. And that is the uh, Chinese coach, Tian Bin Yi. But uh, the Malaysian coach is getting very excited, and why not? That is game point at 2017. 20, game point, 17. What great defense by Chen. Smashed at her, she was able to redirect the shot cross court. Game point. Oh, 
still snatched at it. It was there to take it. Still too much point, uh, two uh, game points, should I say? Two game points. It's 18-20. Malaysia still have the upper hand in this game to send it into a third. Oh yeah, good play. That was really excellent play by um, Zhang Wei Yawen. She set it up there with that drop and then knew the body was the vulnerable one. Look at this. Oh, impossible to get away from that by Chin Hee Wee. Good work. 1920. Are we going to see juice? Come on, quick. Yes or no? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, he's just going to take this one. Okay. I believe you. It's in. I reckon juice. I reckon juice. Oh, it's a great rally. It's a brilliant rally. It's a brilliant rally and it is. You are right. I bow to you, Charmaine. Well done and well done, Malaysia. That was a really, really close battle there, but they hung in and took the second game. So they are definitely looking at trying to keep us bleary eyed for tomorrow as well. Here, we'll give you some stats later, but this is enthralled crowd. Big smiles and why not? It's one all. Given wide, Malaysia take the first point. One, oh. <laughs> Cha Sun Kya there studying getting his head low, looking very, very concentrated. And his team leading at the moment. 2-1 in the decider, but it's now 2-all. Big hits there. Good work by Wei Yi Li kept the pressure on with that left-handed big hit smash at 228 kilometers an hour. How do you see it developing then, Charmaine? Do you reckon that... Uh, I think we're going to actually get some really good rallies in this game. It seems like they're both attacking well right now in defense. With the last... Oh, with the last game, though, I was going to say Malaysia has a chance at uh, pulling it off, but I think it's going to go right to the end. But don't forget, during this uh, third game, we're going to get uh, half the points at one end, and then they change ends. So uh, there's no particular advantage in terms of facing the breeze. Chang with the service now. 4-2. That was in, and that's 5-2. So... Chia Sun Kia. A little worried as he watches that shuttle beautifully placed. Nice drop too. Oh yeah. Kenya Wei is so good at the net. She doesn't let a lot get past her. And there we see it again. That's clever. I mean, for all the world, you'd play the other game, wouldn't you? You'd just keep hitting. But um, good work. She knew there was a little bit of extra distance on that. Wei Yi Li picks up the point, and now there's a five-point gap. That could well be enough. Oh. It's over. Three, seven. He saw some signals there from the Chinese coach Tian Bin Yi. I think it was to keep 
the percentage game now. You've got a four-point lead. No need to force it. That's in, and that's a lovely piece of play by Yi Li. Back to five lead. Great left cross court. Just a little bit. She thought it was going to go long, but it stayed in. It was out uh, sideways. In on the length, but out on the width. There it is. Just out. Too much pressure. Pay T there. Commanding the net. But still, it's quite a big gap at this stage in this third game. 4 9. Oh, yes. Excellent work. Receiving. It's very important, isn't it? Receiving that you know exactly where you're going to place that short play. Really put the, uh, the server on the defensive. Lots of applause ringing around this stadium in Madrid. It's not for the game we're watching, I'm afraid, but it's uh, certainly for some excellent play all around us. There's a couple of men's doubles going on around us. So we are sandwiched right in the middle. You can see in the background there that shot. The drops, the smashes, that's, this rally's got everything. Super play. You were absolutely right, Charmaine. You're always right. Fabulous rally. And was it good? Yeah. Ooh. Again, they're getting a lot of the points down the middle. They're both looking at each other, wondering who's going to take it. Both forehands and both kind of looking in towards the net. Wei Yi Li, very disappointed she didn't pick that up. It was well in. Points are 6-10 at the moment. Malaysia, four points behind. Oh, what a pick up. All to no avail as they go to 11 at half. And there at 11-6, the Chinese definitely the stronger, the fitter at the moment. That shot, big hit there. There's a lot of anxiety there. And this one is straight down through. Ouch. Not only have I given up a point, I've hurt my knees as well. <laughs> okay, 11-6, and I tell you, I would say that's going to, that'll be the distance at the end. They've changed ends, and let's have a look at it. Smashed winners, Chang and Wei. There's the big difference this time around, right? 22-14. Just to Malaysia, the net winners. 14-12, Wong and Chin, so they are up uh, in the lead in an area they don't want to be. Clear winners will be fairly even, which they are. Just Chang and Wei. And I can see six for Chang and Wei, and that is a big piece of momentum that we saw earlier on. Right, 11-6 they lead, and we're coming to the closing stages. Whatever happens, we're coming to the closer stage, closing stages of this. Women's doubles. I don't think so. Huh? What's he, going on? <laughs> What's going on? Tell me all about it. The line's been called it in, but uh, he is overruling it. The umpire is overruling it and saying it it was out. No, it was out. Play on. Okay. Well, Ian Spear from England. There he is. So just in the last year, about the the umpire, they have a good shot and can see it definitely they can overrule the linesman well that could have an impact on this match it was 11-6 it's now 8-11 lovely incidences like that that uh, create the interest not only just for the crowd but there's three in a row for Malaysia and I'm sure that Chia Sun Kiat sitting right in front of me will be very happy with the state of affairs particularly happy with the umpires Chin's backhand snapped at cross court and I think 
Way was looking a little bit down to the straight shot. First score then for China since the break, 12-9. There's Mr. Chia. Still in with a chance, Malaysia, at 10-12. Well, that was fairly simple for Yi Hui there. She doesn't normally miss those. Mind you, she's not a natural net player. She normally sits back a little bit and comes in with the big beefy stuff. But um, she'll be disappointed there. It's a big moment in the match at 13 10, and that's uh, it was a lovely service, actually. It was. Started it? That. Yeah, beautiful. It's Very a tight. Serve right in the middle. It's an actually a nice mid shot. Super, super. Oh. Uh, Clark and Blair, you can hear the applause. Clark and Blair of England have just beaten the Japanese pair. And that's, uh, that's why all that applause is around the court at the moment. So let's settle down. It's now really big moments. 15-10 to China. <laughs> oh, reaction shot there. Big hit. What a super drop. And a big pick up. Oh, yes. Well, Malaysia, you deserve that. That was a stunning rally. Beautifully finished off. Some wonderful gets. And 11 15, 226, the score of the smash. And that lovely grip of the left hand. the court Ooh, agony. the heads go up the teeth are clenched can't believe it but still Wong Pei Ti just puts a little comforting racket on the back of Yi Hui 16-11 it's looking ominous out of court and that's 17-11 and I tell you Hey, a few that's got to be curtains, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, a few unforced errors there kind of brings down the team just recently. So, need to pull their head up and... Oh! Isn't that strange? Momentum. 18. Momentum. 18-11, and the Chinese are looking so solid now. They won the first one 21-14, so this is about what they expected. They were forced back into this rubber game and that is uh, uh, as well oh another service fault really on the chinese oh no the plot thickens and cormac breslin rules he is the service judge and he's called how many now please tell me charmaine it's eight it's nine it could be more it's so unusual i mean normally during a match you probably get one perhaps two and because of it, the Malaysians are battling hard. They find that their tails are beginning to raise again. But with this uh, rally per point, or per point rally, it's going to be real tough. They're still five down. And that's now six down at 19.30. Right. It is the tall, rangy Wei Yi Li with the serve. Two more points required to go through to the next round. And that is now one more point to go through to the next round, and that is match point. They beat the Polish pair of uh, Kamila and Nadiecka in the, in fact, the Wong and Chin did in the previous round in round three. Chang and uh, Wei beat Gail Ems and Donna Kellogg in the round three, so they beat already the three seeds, and that is it. That is the match. So a brilliant scalp again. They've beaten the, th the third seed. Now they've beaten the fifth seeds. 
So Chang and Wei win the match by 21-14, 19-21 and 21-13. 25 to 17 for Chang and Wei. And the other one is the unforced errors, 15, 14. Oh, well, not so bad for Malaysia, but in the end, they weren't good enough. They've gone out. It's 2-1 in favor of Chang and Wei. They go through to the semis.